and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah, today we are going to pick up a drop stitch when you are knitting every row. Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah, I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. Yes, we're picking up a drop stitch when you're knitting every row today, which is also called garter stitch. Now, First of all, do subscribe because I'm here every Tuesday, every week, and if you hit the little bell too, then you'll get notifications whenever I put up a new video. I do lots of videos for beginner knitters, I do lots of videos for all sorts of knitters, so do come back and see uh, the weekly video. I'll be here waiting for you. Okay, so we're picking up a drop stitch, and it can be difficult because if you're just starting to knit, you don't need all of the jargon. You're just knitting every stitch. That is all you need to know. But if you make a mistake, you're on the right track. If you say from the first step, okay, I'm gonna fix that mistake. Um, actually, by fixing mistakes, you learn a little bit more about how the yarn moves, where it goes, where it's come from, and it is making your life easier as you progress in the craft. So let's start fixing those stitches. And I'll show you at the end of the video what I've been knitting in garter stitch recently. And I think you're going to love it because it just makes it that little bit more special. And people will think, wow, you knitted that? I can't believe it, you've only just started knitting. But if you pick up this idea and you start doing it yourself, everyone will think you're an absolute star. So I'll show you that at the end. But let's first of all fix that dropped stitch. All right, you are knitting garter stitch and you've dropped a stitch, which means that you have been knitting every row and that means that you do the stitch in the same way every time, but you're turning the needles. So one, one minute it's one side, one minute it's the next. One, one, one stitch falls from that side, one stitch goes from that side. But we have our garter stitch sitting here. Now you can start from any side you want, but what you need to do is match up these lumps when you're picking up garter stitch. And well, obviously you need to match the lumps, so you need to match the texture whenever you're picking a stitch up. But it's especially important in garter stitch because let me show you if I was to use the other method that we use, which is to just put your crochet hook through that and then just go pick it up pick up the next thread, where's that next thread? There it is, oh, that'll go through there. Oh, pick up the next thread, where is it? Oh, that'll be fine, that'll be fine, that'll be fine. Oh dear, what's that? What's happened? It doesn't look the same, does it? Because I've just picked up the stitch as if I'm knitting from the same side of the knitting every time. If I'm making every stitch from the same side of the knitting, I haven't been turning the needles, have I? And that just doesn't make sense. So, let me just unpick all of that again. We need to make sure that we are switching from one side to another when we're picking up garter stitch, which means that these little steps here, it looks like a ladder. These little steps of the ladder, they need to be approached from a different side, depending on where you are when you're picking up a stitch. So let's have a look at this side. There are lots of lumps on this side, and that is relative to this piece of thread that we need to pick up first. So that means that that stitch has to have this to the front of it so that we can see it when we pick the stitch up. So that stitch has to go picked up, has to be picked up from that side. Let me just pull that thread through. There you go. So we had that piece of thread in front of it so we could see it once we pick the stitch up. Now we look at this next step. Where's it gone? There's that next step. We can't see any lumps in front of that. So we need to pick that thread up so that it's behind, so that we don't see that thread when we've picked it up. There you go, we can't see that thread, it's behind and it matches the rest of that row. So now we need to say, right, take the crochet hook out, where's the next row? That next row is lumpy. So we need to see the threads when we've picked the stitch up. So put that thread to the front of that stitch we need to see it when we've picked it up. So put the needle, the hook through that, and we're gonna pick it up while it's at the front, and we can still see it. 
There it is, it matches the lumps that are on the rest of the needles there. Is there any more to pick up? Yes, there is. Okay, now this thread that we need to pick up next, it matches all of that smooth knitting. We can't see any lumps on that piece of thread. All of the lumps are on the other side, which means we mustn't see that thread at the front when we pick the stitch up. So we make sure that the hook, we make sure that the hook is through the stitch and the yarn is at the back. So that step of the ladder that we've just picked up all of those other steps, that step is at the back. So we pick up that stitch from the back and we can't see it when we've picked it up, which is perfect because we can't see the rest of that row either. Now, I need to look at this and go, right, where am I? Where am I knitting from? What's happening? Look at this. I've been picking up stitches while I have this yarn hanging from a stitch on my left hand needle. Now, unless you're a left handed knitter and you knit from the other way, that means that I need to turn my needles over. I need to make sure that my working yarn is here on my right hand side. And this stitch that's on the crochet hook hasn't been knitted with this working yarn yet. So I'm going to put that stitch back on the left hand needle. And that's it, I can carry on with my row. All of those stitches there haven't been knitted yet on this row. So I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to carry on knitting every single one of these stitches. And when I get to the end, you will see that you don't even realize that you've dropped a stitch because you've been so expert at picking all those stitches up. It's about making sure that you see the lumps in the right places. Oh, look at that. Do I look like I've dropped a stitch? No, I do not. That's really all you need to remember is what does the stitch look like on either side of that drop stitch and how can you make it look the same when you're picking up that stitch? Great, I hope that's helped you and that you've picked up your drop stitch and you've learned a little bit more about how the yarn moves when you're um, knitting as well because it just helps to learn and as you progress in the craft, like I said before, you will understand more and more and more and be able to fix these stitches without even to have a look, having to look on YouTube because these mistakes happen when you're a knitter. They happen to me, they happen to everybody. So fixing mistakes is all part of knitting. Right, I'm going to show you that thing that I've been knitting that I teased you with at the beginning. Here it is. And look at that. Isn't that cool? It's like a cheats beginner's lace. And how I've done this is I've been alternating using a really thin needle, and that is a four millimeter needle, with a thick needle. These larger, thicker rows where there is a lot more hole, there are the larger holes in them, that's been done with a 12 millimeter needle. And I've just been alternating, occasionally using a four millimeter needle, and then occasionally using a 12 millimeter needle. And I will get a pattern all typed up for you and linked below so that you can go out, find yourself some cool yarn and just start knitting this as well because it's, it's a bit of fun. And instead of knitting every row and going, oh, I'm knitting every row, I'm knitting every row, it's a scarf where you have little breaks in it. You're knitting with a four millimeter needle and then there's an exciting row where you use a 12 millimeter needle. Just gives you those stepping points, those goal posts that you want to get to. So that is currently my garter stitch pattern that I'm knitting up and I'm having great fun with it. I bet there's lots of little bits of yarn all over it too. I bet you can have great fun with this as well. And like I said, everyone will think you're an absolute star for knitting this kind of thing when you're only just learning. Okay, I would love to know what you are knitting that you dropped a, drop, that you dropped a stitch from. What is it that you're knitting a garter stitch? so that you had to go and fix the stitch. I'd love to know. Um, it's great to share those kind of stories and have a little natter about knitting. So drop that in the comments and I'd love to see you again soon. Do subscribe. Like I said, I'm here every Tuesday, every week. Until next Tuesday, happy knitting.